bless you this is now a Wednesday faith moment and this week I'm talking about faith if you remember last week I finished on the narrow path as we were climbing Imgilborough as a family we reached the point where it's a probably a 200 foot steep scramble up the rocks and you go up in zigzag form and then you make the way to the top the top of the, the Ingleborough now when I got to the top of this zigzag I looked down and I felt dizzy and I thought I think I'll take the circular route back anyhow we went to the top and then I had what I call one of those glorious faith moments with the Lord you see it was all misty all the way across the top you could hardly see a thing at one point and then as we went to the far edge to look over to Ingleton where I climbed it from last time it was as if the Lord had just waited for that moment to draw back the curtain of cloud and then you had a perfect view of everywhere it was as if it was such a perfect timing moment as if the Lord was there I felt like singing I close my eyes draw back the curtain but I couldn't remember any more words so that's my limit of uh, Joseph and the amazing coat but it inspires you doesn't it you feel like doing greater things and so we made our way back down again and we got to this steep probably a couple of hundred foot maybe not 150 foot of uh, uh, drop down now my daughter's subtle because when I got there I said I, th I think perhaps I'll go the circular route she said oh well some grandmas were were climbing down a minute ago and of course she knows that's red rag to a bull with me if they can do it I can do it so I said Lord I trust you and off we go and it, it wasn't long before I was really into the stride of this if grandmas can climb down I can climb down without touching the sides with my hands and I got back to to like fell not fell running but at least I, I got down quite quickly and then having got to the bottom I ran all the way back to the car and when Holly finally made her way back I said do you know you go slower than a lot of grannies but seriously you see faith sometimes is your own adrenaline it's your own uh, not aggression but you go <clears throat> I'm gonna do it now two days later the Lord suddenly put a song in my mind on my heart that I'd not remembered for years I used to play it when I went into Liverpool years ago it was a song by Chris Bowater I don't know he must be about my age now I checked him out he's still alive but it's called Faithful God Faithful God all sufficient womb I lift you up I worship you Shalom my peace my strong deliverer I lift you up I worship you you can listen to it on YouTube it's there Chris is playing a grand piano beautifully 
It's as if the Lord said, do you know, I don't forget people worshipping me. Even though it might be 30 years ago, I remember it as if it was yesterday. And I want you to learn something. That's what he said to me. And I believe I have to share it with you as well. Faith is a noun. You have the faith. But faithfulness can be a verb. It can be a doing thing. When you reach those, those rocks to climb down, you didn't need adrenaline. You didn't need aggression. All you needed was to be full of faith and quietly go. Because I am a faithful God. Now, there's only one place in the Bible that talks about faithful God. Can you think of it? It's in Deuteronomy. I couldn't at the time. I had to look it up in the concordance. He says, Deuteronomy 7 verse 9. Therefore know without any doubt and understand that the Lord is your God. He is God, the faithful God, who is keeping his covenant and his loving kindness to a thousand generations with those who love him and keep his commandments. It's strange because I had a meeting with Peter and Sue this morning talking about faith moments. We're talking about what we were going to do together through the autumn. And Peter said, do you know, Chris Bowater and that worship song have been on my heart for two weeks. In fact, he said that at Spring at spring wine, when uh, oh, sorry, near, uh, spring harvest, when when he was there, and he couldn't get into the Graham Kendry tank, tent, he went into the theatre, and he actually watched Chris play that on the piano, and he spent his whole time in that theatre listening to Chris. But isn't it funny? Well, it isn't funny. It's just. Amazing that God put it on my heart and on Peter's heart at the same time. So is that important when God says something twice? Is that important that I share it with you? But we have a faithful God. And Peter said, Chris actually took a blanket and wrapped it round an individual in the audience and he says that's what God's loving kindness actually does for you he wraps you up in a blanket you're safe you're secure I could have walked down those rocks in full assurance that I wasn't going to slip I wasn't going to end up in hospital nothing was going to happen to me because my faithful God, in whom I believe, in whom you believe, is there for us. So if you've got a difficult moment now, just turn to that faithful God. Let him put his blanket around you and then go out in faith, believing that things are going to be right for you. God bless.